God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. He is worthy to be praised. Lord, it was a beautiful day today. It was a beautiful, very beautiful day. Um, very beautiful day today, service, together in unity, you know, uh, never forsake the assembly of the church. Um, it was a huge blessing today, I had to leave early, because I didn't feel too good. Um, but it was an interesting topic today, cause I know the Lord moved in a very powerful way went through the teachings everything's confirmation back to back talk about forgiveness and the effects of the of the effect of not forgiving I'm about to edit that out <laughs> the effect of not forgiving one of the things that we gotta understand. Um, it's very important to forgive, just as Christ forgave us. I want to talk about just a little bit about forgiveness, and um, I'm gonna throw a couple of verses out there. It says in Ephesians chapter four, verse thirty-two. This is the English Standard Version. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. Be kind to one another. One of the things is that, you know, it turns away wrath. You be tender hearted. You know, forgiving one another. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus, this brother in Christ. Always walk in unity with your brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm not talking about the world. I'm not talking about the world. But those, when you work with your brothers, right? In Christ. Never try to cause division. Always. The Bible says to reason with one each other. There was a sister in the church. Um, I'm not gonna put her name out there out of respect. But um she was one thing she mentioned that's true is that that in church, you know, not everybody's the same. There's people, you know, different, you know, characters, different behavior, different thinking, you know, we all different every way, but something more deeper that connects us and it's the Holy Spirit. Praise Jesus. It's the Holy Spirit. That we are one sorry guys. I guess I'm sorry. We are one in the body of Christ. There's many members and all the many members, you know, work in different ways, right? You know, the hand can be the feet, or the feet can be the ear, the ears can be the eyes. But they all have their own function, and they all work together, connected. How the body's supposed to be. But this verse is tender-hearted, forgiving one another. God in Christ forgave you and me that we were once, you know, rebellion, living in sin, living willfully sinning. No, some of us had the knowledge of true, but we're world fully so he's still living in the enemy's hand like a puppet. But there's a forgiveness, you know, in us humbling ourselves. When we humble ourselves, be kind to others and tender hearted, be very forgiving. Even if even if they do was wrong, but it shows your humbleness. In First John chapter one verse nine, if we confess our sin, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to clean us from all of righteousness. You see, if we forgive, only thing we confess. We have to confess our sins. Praise Jesus. If we confess our sins, but we see his faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. And he cleans us with 
us. He cleans us from all unrighteousness, all sin. Sin, sin is transgressing against the law. So that when we live in sin unrighteously, we're not living righteous before God. And it says here, And when, whenever you stand praying, forgive. If you have anything against anyone, your brother, so that your Father also who is in heavenly may forgive you your trespasses. It's like when you go live your offering in the altar. When you go to go pray for the Father, you have tension with your brother any conflict, go first and reconcile with him. Because they have your respect for the Father, forgive you, yet you can't forgive your brother in Christ. You can't. You have God for forgiveness, and you, you can't see him, but yet the one who you can see, you want to forgive him. But the Bible said go and forgive him. Reconcile. First, reconcile your brothers. Praise Jesus. And then you come and leave your offering. To your Father, which is in heaven, forgive you of your trespasses as we forgive us. If we confess our sin, as I read there, He will clean us from all unrighteous. But He says here, like I was saying, chapter 6 of Matthew, He said, But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive. Your trust passes because when you don't forgive, you cause attention, you cause a division. And what happened, you put yourself in a darker place. And it be a tension. And then the enemy, enemy, he got to look any gap to enter to be able to do whatever he wants. But it says here, when Peter came to the Lord, often when my brother sinned against me, he said, Lord, now often when my brother sins against me and I forgive him. How many, has, how many seven times Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy-seven times. I mean, you got to forgive him regardless. Do it again. Forgive him again. And it says here, judge not, not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, you will be forgiven. Remember, I was talking about forgiveness. Now, the Bible says use righteous judgment. Don't judge on righteousness. First, take the plank out of your own eye to be able to take the speck out of your brother's eye. And this is here, bearing with one another. This is Colossians chapter 3. Bearing one with one another. And if one has complaint against another, forgive each other as the Lord has forgiven you. So you also must forgive if the Lord Jesus Christ has forgiven you of your sins. He has forgiven you everything you've done. That's why when he went on the cross of Calvary, he was like, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they're doing. And so then... That brings me back up here what I was read, read what I was reading to be tender hearted, forgiving one another, not to have a heart of rock man, not to be meek and humble. The Bible says some have compassion, some pulling them out of the fire, even hitting their own garments the fire by the flesh. As in Jude, I believe. But it says here, therefore, you confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The prayer of the righteous person has great power as it's working. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. My God, it's, it's kind of. Praise Jesus. And I pray one another that you may be healed. The prayer of righteous person has great power and is working, brings healing to the body. It brings healing to each other. 
Why? Because confessing your sins to one another and praying for one another that you may be healed. We have that unforgiveness. We have that tension. We have that anger. We have that bitterness. It brings a sickness in our body. But I say to you here, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Pray, Jesus, because it shows the difference. It shows the compassion. It shows the love. It shows the great difference. It shows the love of Christ that is in you. Hatred stirs up strife, but love cover all offenses. Chapter Romans, Proverbs chapter three, verse twelve. Hatred stirs up strife. Yes, yeah, stirs up strife, causing division, causing anger, bitterness, even murder in the heart. In him we have redemption, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace. In him we have redemption through his blood who gave us life, Jesus Christ. For if you forgive other dead trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you, in Matthew chapter 6. He is faithful to forgive you. But if you sit here, your heavenly Father will also forgive you because we have you forgive others their trespasses. Praise Jesus. And right here, Acts chapter 2, verse 38, the baptism. And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For the forgiveness of your sin, you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Because you have repented of your sin and changed your mind, you have repented and earned being baptized. The death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. The death and resurrection, that's what the, the the baptism is. You die in Christ, you come out alive, forgiveness of your sins, so you can be sealed, the gift of the Holy Spirit. But whoever covers an often seeks love, but he who repeats a matter separates, calls friends. Praise Jesus. Praise God. And I got another one here. This is when he was in the corner where he said, and Jesus said, Father, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they cast lot to the writer's garment. That was a prophecy that was fulfilled. For I have sent for sure of the glory of God. Repent, therefore, and turn back, that your sins may be blotted out. Praise Jesus. I'm only about that. You understand that Jesus Christ is Lord. And he wants people to forgive one another so you will not perish. He wants to forgive each other so you won't be divided. And, and, and he covers, you know, the offenses. And they can come together in unity in the body of Christ. Um, that's what was the, the teaching today regarding that. Um, right now have no plans um soon i'm gonna go back out um a couple of things that i'm trying to work on i just haven't been feeling good i just want to do this short video um next monday on top i'm gonna have a matrimony coming in i'm gonna have a matrimony coming in to um tell the testimony whatever the lord, lord puts in their heart so um trying to put up the flyer here in, in youtube so God bless you in Jesus' name. Love you guys. So keep fighting the good fight of faith. Jesus Christ is coming. I love you all. Keep me in your prayer, okay? Love you.